Yo guys, back with another video. Today's about the Tess Holiday Cosmopolitan shoot, the front cover. I'm just adding my two cents to that situation. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Before we start with the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, smash into that like button, guys. Anyway, off to the video, boom. Yo guys, it's your boy, your favorite YouTuber ever in life that's ever been invented, all right? Basically, it's been brought to my attention that the October edition of the Cosmopolitan magazine has a uh, overweight lady on it. Yeah, she, she's overweight, she's a big lady, right? And it's called causing quite a stir in the fitness and fashion community now. Now, it's like this, right? She's a big lady, she's proud of herself. She's an attractive lady, she's confident, she seems happy. What do you want her to do? Now, it's like this, I'm not here sitting here defending her shape, defending her size, right? But what exactly do you want her to do? Would you prefer if she was overweight, insecure, low self-esteem, introverted, quiet, suicidal? Like, what, 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 what do you guys want? She's out here showing people that regardless of her exterior regardless of her, of what we're led to believe is deemed attractive she believes she's attractive she believes she's sexy and she is comfortable enough to be on front of a magazine that is going to be seen by you know thousands of millions of people like I, what, what exactly do you want from her what would you prefer her do now people would be like but Rick your channel is about weight loss and health first of all how do you know if she's healthy or not because it's like this right when you see someone that's overweight you should say she is potentially not healthy. She has the potential to be unhealthy or a higher potential to be unhealthy. But you don't know if she's healthy or not because health, the true definition of health is everything working properly, yeah? Now, just because she's bigger, heavier, it doesn't mean everything, or all her biological processes is not working properly, guys. Like, you better cut that out. She has a higher potential to be unhealthy. She runs a higher risk of being unhealthy. But just because you see someone and how they look, it doesn't does not mean that they are healthy or not because I promise you there's a lot of people that are in shape shape I hurt my hand punch bouncing my hand off someone's head yesterday so that's the reason why in like in, in boxing settings guys anyway so that's why I got this one yeah so there's people that are in shape guys yeah unhealthy you know what I mean people with all of the abdomens all of the abdominus yeah they got the, all of the abdominus yeah and they are unhealthy guys you know what I mean so you can't assume someone is healthy just because of their body composition or unhealthy because of their body composition you better cut that out all right do I think that being that big is good? No, no I do not. Do I think she potentially should think about trying to do something about her current size? Yes, yes I do. If she doesn't or if she does, it's totally up to her when she is ready. But like people going off on this woman shouldn't be on there and that. Why should anyone be anywhere? You know, why should any type of people be on that? Like, why should a specific type of person be there? You know, like I, I don't understand, like I don't really get it. Like she's a human, right? She has a story, right? Her story could help and benefit a lot of people right like i don't think people really actually understand the way that society makes overweight people feel even chubby people you know like if you don't have a godlike body you are inferior you know you're not even a real human you know you are lower class that is how society makes overweight people feel that is how the internet and social media and all of these type of media outlets make overweight obese fat people feel and it's wrong guys it's wrong guys do i think that everyone overweight obese should do something about it yes but you can't force people to do it and fat shaming and being abusive is not going to help not even a little bit not even the slightest no 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 do you know what i mean like this woman could be empowering people to love themselves and with self-love then they will take the correct steps to change what they look like what they feel like the things that they do and the things that they don't do do you know what I mean? Like this stuff triggers from self-love. When you love yourself, you're gonna do all of the necessary things to make sure that, that you don't contradict the love of yourself. Do you know what I mean? But if you hate yourself, you're not gonna give a damn. You're gonna binge eat to self-harm. You're gonna actually self-harm. You're gonna, asthmatics are gonna smoke. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, it is, it's very, if you don't understand the psychology guys, don't talk about it. Do not talk about it. Like shut up, shut up. You know what I mean? You can shut up and you can shut up. Like I don't, you just want these people just to be depressed and suicidal i don't i don't you guys don't get it man like this woman could empower a whole lot okay but what i but what i don't agree with okay is people that say that they're fat and they're proud and they want it they will get fatter and they're happy to get fatter i don't you can't promote that life i don't agree with that life you know what i mean if the lady is promoting people to be comfortable being fat 
and f and getting fatter. That's not that's not what I stand for. That's not what I don't believe. That's cool. I don't believe that's good. All right. But but if the lady inspires people to love yourself as you are, but want better for yourself, want to do better by yourself to prevent the potential health risks, I'm all for that. Yeah. Love yourself as you are, but want better and do better to prevent the potential health risks. I'm all for that. But if anyone is promoting this overweight and I want to get more overweight lifestyle I don't agree with that like that is you know what I mean that that's no way good that's like a drug addict saying let's overdose and once we overdose let's increase the dosage and overdose even more next time you know like that isn't that's that's an alcoholic saying okay like let's get paralytic on beers but then this after that let's get paralytic on vodka like it, you know it doesn't I don't I don't I don't rate that that's not cool that's not what we stand for I'm not over here on this channel you know but loving yourself but teaching people that you know what you're big you're overweight but you too can also be sexy you too can also be pretty you too can also be valued i i rate that i i personally rate that you know what i mean and more power to her more power to her i probably should do a bit more reading on her backstory and what she stands for but the cover shouldn't be offensive to people and people are offended of the cover so i'm going to talk about the cover i'm going to read more into it once i get to Time, and I might do another video on who actually she is and what she stands for if she stands for things that I don't believe in then you know what I'm gonna pull it up to you know what I mean I'm gonna pull it up to but you know put it this way guys I've been overweight for half of my life so I'm more than qualified to talk about this type of stuff I was the overweight insecure the introverted the shy this is how bad it was I was I was overweight and then my confidence was so low that I used to talk with a stutter I didn't have confidence to talk but now though years on later look look I'm talking to you guys do you know what I mean I'm talking to you guys so yeah look i'm gonna cut this video off here but i'm just gonna say my final thoughts are there's no need to judge her because she's overweight i don't understand why there's an uproar because there's a bigger lady on the cover of the cosmopolitan we don't know how many people she's inspiring and helping and aiding you don't know this you don't know how people she's helping she could be helping a lot of people change their outlook to look in and actually make a change so yeah that's that's to make a change for the better for themselves anyway sound enough guys so yeah guys, when I recorded the first part of the video, right? I was at work, sitting in my car and I thought, let me just um, add my two cents. But now that I've gone through my day and I've thought about it some more and I'm like, what happened to the saying of never judging a book by its cover? Because people are just seeing the cover and judging the book straight away. They're just saying this and that and all this negativity. I'm seeing, well, I'm seeing a lot of negativity. I'm seeing some positivity, but I'm seeing a lot of negativity, right? So what happened to that saying of never judging a book by its cover? How do we know, right? Because we don't know nothing, right? How do we know that she wasn't bigger than that? And she's coming on. She's and she's now featured in that magazine to to preach weight loss, extreme weight loss. Do you know what I mean? She could have been double that size for all we know. But you guys are judging the book by its cover. We don't know what she's promoting. We don't know her story. We don't know nothing, right? And before we even open the book to take a look to understand where she's coming from, we're judging the cover. We have all heard of that saying, "Never judge a book by its cover." And all I can see on my Instagram feed and all across my Twitter feed and in my Facebook feed is people judging books by the cover. You don't know the pain of being overweight, morbidly obese, obese. If you don't know the pain of this, then you should shut your mouth, yeah? You don't know how many people this woman is potentially empowering. You don't know. If she is promoting, I'm fat and happy and get fat life. I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. But if she's promoting loving yourself and appreciating yourself at the point you're at, but then loving yourself enough to make the changes that will stop potential bad health or health problems, I'm for it. I'm for it and I'm for her. You know what I mean? More power to her. I salute you and I'm, I, I, I salute you and rate you to the maximum fullest, all right? Listen, mind your business. Now I'm really signing the video off now. Peace.